Hey, what's up? I'm Matt. I'm the drummer in the Chainsmokers. We're out here today in Nashville on the World War Joy Tour, which is a 42 city arena US tour. I'm just coming off the back of our Asia and Europe tour. And I'm sitting down today to talk to you guys about a whole bunch of stuff that I don't know about yet. So as well as uh, playing the drums on the show and in the band, I became uh, the show director on this. Basically, I've been working on this show for about nine months, building the concepts and all the production design, uh, as well as all the musical direction, arrangements, live compositions. And pretty much this show was designed uh, on the road, uh, on a laptop. And I was making, you know, from the musical arrangements, making those and trying them out and then playing them on the drums, but also at the same time, with the production design and working out and scripting the show and making sure that everything's gonna work, the lighting and the video that I wanted, as well as special effects and you know, placement stage blocking, what Alex and Drew are doing. It was a it was a very hands-on and full-on build, and we built this pretty much from scratch. And it was just crazy to see essentially all of you know my ideas and concepts and drawings to them walking into production rehearsals was very was very cool. Um, especially when you're working on something that you know, essentially it's it's as close as it's gonna be to you as, as ever. Not a third party or an artist or anything, like another artist, for example, it's just like your own project. What's up guys, it's Jay Reynolds, uh, Matt McGuire's drum tech, out here for the Chain Smokers on the World War Joy Tour. Uh, just gonna run you through his rig and show you some awesome things that Pearl, Pearl sent out for us and uh, that we're loving. Pearl reference kit, it's the reference pure. We're doing 12 by 8, 14 by 14, 16 by 16. For the snare, it's, uh, I think it's actually a masterworks, but this is the reference 20 ply, um, 14 by 6.5. Pearl Sensitone, nickel over brass, 14 by 6.5 for a side snare over here. Pearl Demon Drive pedals, uh, using the quad beaters. Felt side for that. Finished, we went with Matt Black uh, with the powder coated hardware. Black, kind of a murdered out look. His second kit down there is the Music City Custom line, which was awesome because uh, it was a last minute decision that we wanted to switch um, and do a completely new like aesthetic for the B kit. And our creative team came up with a, a cool design, as you'll see down there. And John was able to have uh, the shells out to us in like a week. And then we were able to have them wrapped. And uh, yeah, what you see down there was done in like a week and a half. And I don't know if there's not a, it's not anyone else that can crank out that sort of turnaround time. So Icon Rack was actually the first rack I ever had. We, when we made the switch to Pearl, uh, a big selling point was the fact that we could use both the rack uh, for drums and keyboards. We were previously using uh, another rack company for keyboards and just having the similar aesthetic has been huge. There's nothing that moves. In fact, these things travel together and nothing moves. Like everything, it's set up the same every day. Cuts my setup time down to practically nothing, um, just throw it up there. And the new Pearl clamps are awesome because you get way more modular ability than I felt like um, in the past. So that was a huge thing for this. And the aesthetic, I mean, just, it's a cool aesthetic. Same with the keyboard rig, if you look down there. So over here we did the same thing, Icon setup on the keyboard rig. It's the first keyboard rig I've seen. It uses Icon uh, setup and with the new clamps, um, it was able to get uh, some very cool things, like especially with the t these T clamps we're able to use on the underside for keyboard. Um, and it's been super rock solid. There's not a, there's no movement. These all travel in like three. It breaks into three main sections. Um, it rides on top of the cases and it's the same every night. Um, doesn't move. And I like the, uh, the brushed aluminum finish on this because we have a lot of pyro on the show and it, uh, it looks good night after night and holds up through the, the rigorous touring we do. But, um, I mean, yeah, we're mounting so much stuff off of this. Like this is like 60 something pounds and then I don't, it's the best wreck out there, so. Uh, I started playing drums when I was six, performing at 11. Uh, my first international tour was when I was 15. It was crazy when I was younger. I always wanted to be essentially in a band that was like, I had a lot of like creative control over and I could really like get very hands on in. And this is definitely not a plug. I've never plugged in a video, but if you're like looking to play a drum kit that's very responsive and dynamic and and what you put into it 
you get out of it. I definitely, from playing like a lot of different brands, you know, and, and looking around before before this all happened, um, Pearl's definitely in in their own lane for sure, and very original. And, and if you're an artist, you know, they can do a lot of crazy custom things. So that just that all just stems from an extremely good quality product, to be honest. So Pearl, the best reason to play drums.